All right. Thanks for joining us this evening. We have got a lot to get through this evening. Uh, we're going to start with the story of a teen girl, Jordan Powers, who moved in. You may remember the story. She moved in with her 41-year-old former teacher, and there they are, John Hooker. Now, the couple eventually broke up, partly because Hooker was arrested on sex charges for allegedly sleeping with another stu student 14 years earlier. And when this story first broke, they talked openly about their relationship on GMA. Take a look at this. I think that they're just digging for something that wasn't there. I mean, of course they're going to be curious, but I know for a fact there's nothing. I don't think I look at her as a student at all. I think we, I mean, we are sharing life. People don't agree because of the age difference and because he was a teacher and I was a student, but I think it's a normal relationship. All right, I'm joined now by Michelle Gollin, clinical psychologist. I also have Tammy Powers, the, the mother of Jordan Powers. And Tammy, I want to go immediately to you. I saw you shaking your head there watching that footage. This has got to be very painful for you to watch, knowing that they're back together again. That has got to be so frustrating. It is. It's very, very discouraging. Um, really unbelievable. What do you think this is? How does he exert this guy that was her teacher, who's known to be a predator, how is he able to exert this kind of influence over your poor daughter? I think, again, it goes to, um, he talks about loyalty. And she talked to me about, I've abandoned him, he's, he's alone. And uh, I've had to tell her, he's alone by choice, the choices he's made. Um, it's manipulation. It's power control. I, pedophiles, predators, it's what they do. And Tammy, I want to tell you what you described, I want our viewers to listen to this very clearly, yeah. is the Stockholm mm -hmm. Syndrome, where you, where you identify right. with the perpetrator. Right. She is putting herself ahead of the perpetrator. He is a pedophile. He is disgusting. That's yes. reality. And yes. he's able to manipulate her in such a way that she feels she's responsible for his feelings. She wow. does. She does. As a parent, as a parent, help people understand what you've tried to do. People that look at you and say, why didn't you? You should have. What, how far have you gone to try to untangle the situation? Well, I guess, you know, I have to talk at length to Jordan so that she's not receptive um, to his pleas, to his constant um, relentless communication. Um, I've gone to every length, and I'm still going to go to every length. Um, my belief system is that I'll find more information. He's a true pedophile. And um, this predatory behavior didn't happen overnight, uh, and it will continue. Well, of course, and he groomed her, Michelle, no right, doubt. Exactly. For this. I mean, I, I feel so for you, Tammy, well, as a mother. Yes. And, Thank you. you know, uh, being able to manage this situation is, is nearly impossible, I'm sure, as a parent. Yes. But what I'm okay. seeing is exactly that, that this is a uh, a predator, a sexual predator, and he is manipulating, he is guilting, he is making her responsible. The fact that he was uh, her teacher and then quit so he could then be with her, all of this goes to such poor judgment, frightening. On his part. Absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. she is 18. Yeah. We know that. But that, but she is, and we know this in brain development, she is an adolescent. She is not making those okay. sound okay. choices and decisions. They don't have the kind of executive right. kind of decision-making capacities. But let's, let's be clear. I mean, those of us that are fathers, uh, take note here. A yes. relationship with dad can set kids up. A, a not An abandoning relationship with dad, for instance, can set kids up for these kinds of victimizations. Right. It, it, and, and, then, and then Tammy is the parent still left doing the parenting. And I can just imagine you blame yourself when the day is done. Well, I've had to do a lot of introspection and say why was she receptive to this? Uh, she's had a boyfriend mm -hmm. for all four years. Um, I had no idea uh, that anything was going on and uh, so I have had a lot of sleepless nights to, to think about this Right, so she so she had had a boyfriend and then maybe something happened and I, I'm wondering if at that point is when he sort of swooped in of course, when she's vulnerable. Right, exactly when she's vulnerable. Well, she, she has some abandonment issues right. and he's able to say I have a special sense of you You're a special person. Right. I see something in you that nobody else sees and, and somebody that has those kinds of abandonment stuff with men that's fertile soil. Absolutely. Soil. And you can see, I mean, she even appears young yeah. for an 18 year old yeah. uh, in that, in, oh, in, in hearing them speak. Tam, yeah. Tammy, let, let me ask you this. Have you tried to get her in treatment? 
Oh, that's absolutely. We're we're trying to. I'm I'm adamant that she's in long-term counseling to address these issues. She and I together um, to address some of these issues. Uh, it just I was just honestly just caught off guard. And and, there, and there's a one, one way of conceptualizing what people like Tam, Tammy's right. daughter is going through is called love addiction for adults mm -hmm. that go through this and there's a book right. called facing love addiction if people are interested in that topic uh, where they can sort of understand how how they can idealize somebody that who is so clearly a manipulative predating predating mm. I, I mean I I, I am so disgusted by guys like this you, you right. can't even imagine he's misappropriating his power as a as an adult as a teacher mm -hmm. as a male in every aspect of mm -hmm. The basic fabric of, of our world where big people take right. care of little people is violated by this disgusting predator. Right. I, I wanted to ask you, Ted, you know, I, I'm You've wondering... Got a minute. Ms. Michelle, go okay. right ahead. I, I am curious as to if you have had any contact or relationship with the ex-wife or the, the, the woman uh, with the, ch you know, who the was married. The predator's ex-wife. The predator's ex-wife. Oh. Indirectly, through, through a family friend, through his church, I have... Um, I'm really careful not to mention them, his children. Um, they are true victims in this as well. Absolutely. Also, yeah. Indirectly, absolutely. And this is one yeah. I absolutely agree. And, I, and, you know, when we look at this situation of sort of what can parents do, yes. that's what I'm sitting here thinking. Where would, where, what would I do if this was my daughter yes. at 18? You know, one Ten of the, seconds. Tell the us thoughts that do. I have is to actually reach out to her. And if there's going to be custody cases, a custody case in this situation, that may be some amount some of leverage, pressure and leverage. leverage that you can Fantastic. put on James Hooker. i got to take a break, guys. Tammy, uh, my hearts go out to you. I understand you've been trying to get some legislation so teachers can't do this. I understand that failed recently. Stay at it. That's all I'm saying, Michelle. Thank I you. Will.